Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about enum in Dart. Enum is used to store the fixed number of constant value. I will share my screen and let's see a complete demo of enum. Here you can see enum is a special type that represents a fixed number of constant values. And enum is declared using the keyword enum followed by enum name. Okay. Here is the syntax for enum. First, you need to write a enum keyword and you need to write a enum name. Okay, I will show you a practical demo. Okay, I will say enum work dot that. Okay, first let me declare enum. Enum, I will say days equal to, I will say Sunday. Okay, uh, this there is no equal to here sunday i'll just copy this one from here enum days sundays to saturday okay okay e okay we forgot to copy this e1 okay now i'll create a main method here okay i'll declare one variable that is okay i'll make it capital you can also make it capital okay i'll say days d equal to days dot sunday or saturday okay now if i print d okay then that let's see what happened enum org dot that here you can see days dot saturday got printed okay in this way you can use enum and if you want to print all the values of enum then you can just write print print days dot values okay this will print all the values of enum here you can see days dot sunday days dot monday okay now what is the real use case of enum let's do that one okay i'll create one class that is person class person dot that okay first i will declare enum gender to male female other okay now this is fine let me create a class that is person and i will say string name and i will say gender gender okay now let me create a constructor person this dot name comma this dot gender okay in gender you can only pass three values one is male another one is female another one is other you can pass any one of the value okay now let me create a main method here and okay let me create person object person p1 equal to person name is bimal gender is okay inside double quotation is not possible so you need to write gender dot male okay this is also used for validation there is less chance of error in your code okay 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 if i want to print the p2 dot p2 dot gender then it will print gender dot female okay if i run this one that person dot that then this will print gender dot female in this way you can use enum in that okay here is the same example gender example you can also uh, practice this on your own and how to print all the enum values you can uh, also practice this one we have already done this example okay you can also look uh, to print all the values just write for loop for for just write days d in days dot values 
and just print D. Okay, just print D. This will print all the days. That is enum or here you can see all the days got printed. In this way, you can print all the values of enum. You can use it according to your situation. What are the advantages of enum? It is used to define the state of named constant. Okay, it is not possible to change the gender to any other. If you write males, then it will also raise error. Okay, one thing is this one makes your code more readable and maintainable. You can easily maintain your code, makes your code more reusable and make it easy for developer. Okay, and characteristics of enum. It must contain at least one constant value. You need to provide at least one constant value. If you don't provide any values, then it will raise error. Okay. And enum are declared outside a class. You need to declare it outside a class. If you declare it inside person, let's see what happened. Then this will not work. You need to declare outside the class. And another one is used to store large number of constant value. Basically, you can store one uh, more than one constant value in uh, enum okay this is the way and uh, at least one constant value but at least one constant value that is not so useful uh, thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end i hope you understood about enum if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends on different dart groups flutter groups and thank you so, so much for watching this video up to the very end. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.